<laughs> Holy shit, I was watching some toddlers and tiaras. Oh, the show's yeah. great. I know this is ADD uh, radio today, but... It's hilarious. That show's fucked up. Those parents are fucking oh, shootable. Fuck that show. You see the show that was on before it? Which one's that? The, 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 the Cheapskates. No. You didn't see this? No. DVR, they're running it a million fucking times on TLC. What do they do? It was just before uh, Tyler's and Tierra's. How they save money? Oh, I didn't see that one. Is it called Cheapskates? I, I forgot the name oh. of it. There was a lady that reuses toilet paper. That's no. lovely. But no. I guess How does she reuse it. I guess she has like rags that you're supposed to use if you're in her house. And then what? You fucking wash him out like no. a di diaper? Yeah. And then you put it in the uh, the bucket that she provides in her bathroom, and then she washes them That's and reuses just them. Reeks. She washes them. Who would hang out with her? Uh, <laughs> who would Who would ever just go to her? like every time she said, "Do you want to come over?" People would just go, "No, you can't." We're no. Not. We no. we with really should have audio rags. of this show for the show for our show with your shit rags. You didn't see this? No. I think some of um, some of the people that kind of put it on for the TV show. I think. Yeah. But I don't think I think this lady's the real deal, and she brags that doing this she saves two hundred and forty dollars a year. Big shit! You're you're taking two hundred forty dollars of of pain in the ass. But you're washing everyone else's shit. Yeah. Is that worth two hundred and forty dollars to you? What do you do with your money? What do you do with two hundred and forty dollars that outweighs right. <laughs> shitty rags in a bucket that you have to wash that out? You gotta, by hand? Yeah. How much fun are you having with that two forty? Because I don't think That'd you be could a just, lot. I don't think you could just throw that in your into your uh, washing machine. I think and you then what, hand you put wash. your clothes in there afterwards. <laughs> right. with you the can't find the clips. Rags. What show is it? I don't know the name of the fucking show. Someone help mm. us out. Well, let's see. Hey, look down. Someone's What's the name it. of the show? A lot of people watch this thing. What's it called, people? Anyone? Mm. It wasn't called know. cheap skates. It's it's an, no. No uh, one. No one seems to be coming up with an answer. Oh, I, right now, Jews. Yeah, it's <laughs> called. Yeah, <laughs> answer. No, no. It wasn't. What? It no, wasn't it's my not the strange couponing. addiction. Uh, no, it's not couponing. Come on, man. Everyone was tweeting about it. Someone's got the name of the fucking show. No one's got it down there? Thrifty fucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not thrifty fucks. That sounds like a great show, though. Uh, extreme who gives a shit. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, oh, come on, man. It's not extreme cheapskates. People were losing their minds watching this show. <laughs> Maybe I dreamt this. <laughs> Maybe I had a good dream. No? Yeah, no one's coming up with it. No one? No. Ooh, Jimmy, why all the farts today? I'm happy to be back. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you eat last night? <laughs> um, I had cottage cheese yesterday, and I'm having some now. I'm on a diet. Cheese. Cottage cheese. cheese. You're officially on a diet? Yeah. Because you sure weren't on New Year's Eve. No, I was a pig. <laughs> he wants some cheese, and he's in a little cottage. <laughs> cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Ugh. Jimmy likes to indulge. I do. Bit. But Does I, that taste like anything? It's good. Cottage cheese not. It's salty. It's not bad at all. Cottage cheese sucks. You gotta. You gotta yeah, add. I've got a little bit of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's pushing the back of his head down on his own banana. That's <laughs> funny. You gotta do. Time. <laughs> you gotta do mandarin oranges with uh, cottage cheese. It's a perfect combination. Mm. Try it sometime. I don't like citrus with anything milk product. Extreme cheapskates. Thank you. Uh, that is Jim extreme cheapskates. E no, extreme cheapskates. Is this the toilet paper brought? Yeah, here we go. The extended family of scrubbing bubbles. Where are we? To Clark Audio, but we got to play this first, but we have a commercial. Yeah. All right. God, how long is this commercial? Blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. I'm cutting toilet paper squares for our bathroom that we will wash and use instead of paper products. Wow. We have a little bin underneath the basket that holds the little toilet wipes where we put them so we can wash them later. And then when it's time to wash, I just pour them in and I never have to touch them with my hands. Oh, Fine really? toilet paper just doesn't do anything for me. As a middle class family that makes a good income, I shouldn't have to go into debt to buy toilet paper. All of our cloth You're not a middle class family then, going into debt. 
for her husband should be years. fucking causes who puts up with this bitch $20 a month over this a bitch ago. started out as just some broad in the bar that you found attractive and now you fast forward and, right. and, and she's a psycho that has to house. reuse toilet paper I don't know if I believe this huh? something about this reeks of bullshit something about this reeks of yeah. bullshit it just yeah look at her eyes she looks crazy <sighs> Look at the she rest of her house. Crazy. Yeah, maybe she is. All right, play. We've been using them for more than five years. Using cloth toilet paper saves us $20 a month. But over a year, then, that is um, $240. Guess I had one person say she couldn't contaminate her washing machine. And I just had to laugh because if you know anything about bacteria, there's no way it can survive those harsh conditions. So contamination is not an issue at all. When Angela first came up with the, the idea of cloth toilet paper, I was kind of a little skeptical. And once I got used to it, it to me, it's it's more comforting to have something solid on your hand than the paper stuff. Yeah, how about just your hand? That, ew, look at the brown fuck. <laughs> it's got dude, stains dude, on it's it. it's stained. Would you it's use that? brown. No. no. <laughs> oh, God, that's disgusting. What a... Ugh. She's terrible. There were brown stains yeah. on that white fucking yeah. rag. Awful. <laughs> and you're supposed to, like, go there and go, oh, yeah, I'll just wipe with my um, a rag. Even the poorest family out there wouldn't do that. No. And, and and you're putting it all in your washing machine that there's shit all over the place. I don't care if it's killing the bacteria. I know. And it's got a stink in the bathroom. It's got a stink in the whole house. Yeah. When you're washing that shit. It's like, oh, what do you got, a cat? No, we just shit and wipe with rags. <laughs> Problem, and another, and another. What appears to be meant that that to me, I think that's a mental illness. Of course, of it course, is. it is that you have to deal with. Great. Yeah. Once Thanks. again, another fucking wacko yeah. that just can't get over somebody fucked her shitter when she was four. <laughs> How about this? Go to therapy and stop putting the rest of us through it. You chiseler. Yeah. Rest of her family. Oh, poor family has to you know cut squares of u reusable toilet. You paper. know what? Uh. Fuck the poor family. They're tolerating it. The husband's an adult. The kid has no choice. That husband could say, "Look, bitch, we're not doing that." <laughs> yeah, this God. Is just dumb. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just steal like rolls of toilet paper from a restaurant, or just go get napkins? They always somewhere. have an extra roll in there. Just no, find... use them for napkins. Uh, you know the napkins, oh, anything. Right, right, right from just restaurant. Whatever. You could get free toilet paper if you're that desperate. You didn't watch that show, huh? No, I wish I did. I watched Hoarders last night. Oh my god, just infuriating. It was the season premiere, I guess. Yeah. And uh, there's another, and just another woman that looks like fucking Ernest Borgnine <laughs> with a cane, and she's walking around just. I want to save that. Yeah. No, I need that. You know, uh, try throwing it away. Try. Meanwhile, there's workers standing there with their thumbs up their ass because this woman can't throw away a fucking uh, a pie tin. I don't feel. I, I feel good for the workers. That means uh, time and a half as they wait for this bitch to make yeah. a move. And then Riff Raff. What, by the way, what's Riff Raff? A uh, Riff Raff was the guy Norman. He was also featured. He looked yeah. like Riff Raff. Okay. Uh, and uh, he apparently uh, uh, had a girl that was living with him in his hoard house, and um, he went in to check on her, and uh, she was a little unresponsive. So he called the uh, ambulance. They showed up and had to dig through things and Ugh. push shit over and everything. And they finally got to her and, and told him, oh, she's been dead for a while. Really? Yeah. She fucking, he just had a dead person in the house and didn't know it because of his hoard. No. Who was the person? That's his a major girlfriend. crime. His girlfriend. Really? Yeah. God. Uh, uh, she deserves it if she tolerated that. And there's pots, and she's into pots and pans. Mm. She just has so many pots and pans, uh, and won't get rid of them. Oh, you just want to smack these people. Philadelphia, huh? That was Norman. Norman, he's the one that had the dead person in the house. Isn't that ironic? What was his hoarding thing? Uh, just everything. Just everything. Crap. He had bottles of like Gatorade bottles with his own piss in it. Why do they always save their own urine? Oh, they're disgusting messes. What's the thinking? What do you do that for? That's how you should talk to them. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You got to handle them with kid gloves. Sick yeah. of it. You wouldn't handle them with kid gloves? Jake? I would completely cut no. them out of my life. What? What? I would just go, because I've been on a roll. I told you a roll of taking people out of my fucking phone. Mm -hmm. You fucking crazy bitches. Out of the phone. That's how these people should be handled. Out of the phone. Yeah.
I know we go backwards a lot on the show, but that's because Oof. of a delay, and I apologize for that, but there's no way around it. Yeah. Uh, someone brought up a good point about the, uh, and we'll go back to Hoarder, certainly, and we'll do the Dick Clark. Don't worry. We're professionals. It all makes sense in the end. Uh, the used toilet paper lady? Yeah. Someone makes a great point that we should have. It probably costs more money to wash this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she's got to buy fucking detergent unless she doesn't. Detergent, water, she just energy. just hot water. So, so that it's got to be bullshit. And then someone says they know the lady. Oh, really? And no, it's bullshit. No so way. Let me, let's try this. I mean, it might be... Uh, well, I called it. Bullshit. Denise in Jersey, what do you got on this quickly? Hey, guys, how are you? No, I don't know the lady. I just know it's bullshit. Think about it. If you're going to recycle these things, you got to use a lot of bleach. Bleach breaks down fabric. She's got to be going through new rags every two, three washes. Ass rags. It's, you know what it is? It's everyone. They want to be a star. A star. Yeah, I bet you that was. Uh, that just doesn't seem right to me. I think it's a mental illness, and, and she thinks she's saving money, but she's not acknowledging all the money she's using to wash the, yeah. the shit rags. Her dumb husband. Yeah. I think. It, I don't think it's... I think it's Why based on... Why is it always on... mental illness? Why is it always mental illness? How about she's just a stupid fucking cunt? Because... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Denise. You could be right, Denise, but th they always have to have... They're always got their issues, and because nobody in their life just cuts them off. Here's how you handle yeah. people like that: you cut them off, yeah. goodbye, and you immediately remove them from your life permanently. That's and the only way to handle them. It took a long time, but I don't understand why you have to deal with someone else's mental illness where it affects everybody, making their lives worse. So why don't you just cut the one person out and save everybody else? It, it, I'm the, serious. Watching the, those hoarders last night and the the, the mother. That fucking mother just talking about uh, all, all excuses. Mm -hmm. Well, it got a little out of hand. I love when they say their house got a little out of hand. And there's human shit <laughs> and just shit stacked up so high you can't see furniture, what? walls, nothing. I want to go with that. A, a little out of hand is maybe your sink gets overflow to the point you can't really turn the faucet Few on anymore. too many dishes. But you uh, get to it eventually. That's yeah, a little yeah. out of hand. A little out of hand. Not the staircase filled with bags filled with shit. She yeah. was literally sitting in the middle of a room on a chair, yeah. surrounded by yeah. mountains of garbage. Yeah. And she goes, uh, I, I've never been the best housekeeper. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You're sitting in a load of shit. Right. And she's never been the best house. One log is very out of hand. <laughs> yes. Once you have one log of shit on the staircase, <laughs> things are... <laughs> 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 and yeah. she had two piece of shit sons also that lived in the house. And they just, they go into their bedrooms, which are just disasters, <laughs> and lay down mm -hmm. and uh, don't do anything. And then, and then one of the women uh, that were on the crew asked, uh, hey, you're a grown man. And in your room, which is full of garbage, you don't have a garbage pail in here or anything? And he actually said, well, I had one, but I had a big one, but uh, they, uh, you know, the rest of the people in the house didn't like it. So I got a smaller one, and, and, and that wasn't good enough. Like, just excuse after excuse after excuse. It's exhausting. It, it, was, it was exhausting to watch. I can't watch that show, you know. Oh, that. it was fantastic. Too close to home. I feel bad the for me, the, me, me shit. the yes. people who are underage. Like, the kids I feel bad for. But anybody who's an adult and tolerates that deserves it. Literally, they should just be left to die in their own film. I, I was watching an episode before the premiere, which did have two teen daughters ah. that were uh, uh, living in this house and very upset that the house is a wreck. And I uh, tweeted uh, my thoughts on this. I think it's very, very easy to bed down a, a hoarder daughter because <laughs> uh, they are just so needy yeah. and wanting of anything that isn't just a, a, a disaster like that. Uh, probably very easy to just get them. You get them in a clean house. You know what they would do to you? And they're freaking out. You know what they would do to you with a, oh. if you gave them just a clean bathroom with a warm shower I know, and right? fresh uh, sheets? Fresh sheets. But they, they, and then other people were talking like, well, they're fucking, their pussy would smell like, like cat shit. <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> there's cat shit everywhere. You think their teeth are in good shape? You no. want to kiss a hoarder's daughter? No. <laughs> hoarder daughter. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to kiss the mouth of a hoarder. A hoarder daughter. Yeah. I was born. Don't call me yeah. hoarder. <laughs> terrible band. Uh, enough. Uh, hey. Whoa. What? I heard that. They're terrible. I love the Pearl Jam. I hate them. I like one song, and it's not even the one they wrote. Which one? It's a cover of fucking uh, I Believe in Miracles. <laughs> <laughs> the fart. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm happy to be back. Great. They're just tiny farts, yeah. though. 
But you yeah. fart like a man. The, because there's so many of them, they come out in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> they section off. <sighs> so Hoarders was good, huh? Yeah, Hoarders was really good. And then uh, Intervention after Hoarders featured... Probably one of the hottest chicks that have ever yeah. been on on hoarders uh, on uh, intervention, and she was fucked up. She thought bugs were crawling on her, like she had some like breakouts on her forehead, and she's like, "Yeah, they come out of here. They come." And oh, she meant fuck. it. And they're chasing her around the house, and oh, it was it was great. Yeah, that's her right there. I'm just amazed people are still falling for the intervention crap. Look at her for she's the TV fucking show. Fucking I mean. a wreck. What is she doing? What kind of drugs? Uh, I think she's fucking shooting up shit. Oh, wow. uh, meth. She uses meth, and and they just show her like completely fucking losing her mind. Who these what was, people are? What was that Hemingway quote? The world breaks everyone. Can we go back a little bit? I just want to see what that Hemingway quote. No, ask Hemingway. He's sitting right here to my left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Sam, where's the Hemingway? Are I'm you... shaving today. Are you? Why? No, I'm not. I want it to be just ugly now. Oh. People are like you look like an idiot. Uh, well, you look like an idiot. <laughs> well, Jesus. Well, I'm glad that you're concerned. I'm sure. not. I'm not growing it to look nice. Say that to Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> it's true. Or your Ted Kaczynski was pretty bright. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got everything from uh, Richard Dreyfuss and Jaws oh. to the Robert Redford in that one fucking movie where he grew the beard. I forgot the name. Oh uh, yeah, where he was a mountain uh, man. Yeah, I fucking got uh, I don't know, a bunch of others. Whatever. Yeah, Who's that's that her. Called? Yeah, that's her. God damn, is she hot? Yeah, and then they show that's pictures her now? of her. They, no, no, oh, they okay. show pictures of her. That's her. Holy shit, she's hot. Yeah. What does she look like? I'd rescue her. I don't know. They show she pictures like of somebody. her. She's smoking crack. When she was uh, when she was even younger and before the drugs hit her and shit like that, like Ew, 20 what's and stuff. That? Who's that pig? Uh, a friend or something. Hey, she should be smoking the crack. She's fucking sexy. Yeah, this girl looked really good. Wow, she still looks good, though. She's smoking it in front of her mother? Yeah. Yeah, because they, that's what they do. The and her body's involved. banging, too. Look, yeah. she, she looks at, like, those zits on her and shit. Should we be playing this audio? She probably has bed bugs. Start yeah, over. I maybe. No, she's just delusional. Where we start? She thinks uh, she thinks bugs crawl on her. Relax. I like a good scene where the whole family's fighting. and oh. It's great. I don't know, it's man. How, how? Dread! That's my wife! The environment that Christina lives Damn. in is what helps her to remain an addict. There you go. That's all you can get. <laughs> She's agreed to be in a documentary about addiction. I've really got concerns about Christina losing her sanity. Christina's out of control. Put that down. She's not my sister. She's a different person. <laughs> Christina, wild. It's just something about the pipe. It makes your brain totally lose it. There's something a little scar Joe about her face. Well, yeah. Going, period. Yeah. Okay, then we need no. to sit back down again. Okay, well, yeah, because I'm not going. Pause. Go ahead. Would you deal with this, Jimmy? No, she part of it. A part of it is. I'm, I mean, I understand as an addict how brutal it is, but a part of it is she's still in the house and she's a brat. I would so just deal with this for a little while. I love crazy girls. But that's kind of way over the top, the drugs and everything. I would I would get to the point of sitting in a dumb living room. Yeah. And then when she s says, like, I'm not doing this and gets up, and I would go, all right. Goodbye. Good. See ya. I'm, I'm not going to sit here. I'd be like, all right. Fuck you. Yeah. Take your clothes off. Go have fun. Yeah. And then you see them a year later. What are you doing? Same thing. You right. missed nothing. Right. Yeah, yeah. The whole year of my life <laughs> was better, nothing. and you've done nothing. Oh, your life was better? Oh, yeah. Our friend was better, huh? <laughs> I understand you got to care to a point, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just... I'm in recovery, so I kind of get that, but... Yeah, uh, she is just a no, fucking would, disaster. He's, he's, she's a spoiled brat. Throwing something in her mother's head. Just throw the bitch out. Yeah. She's well, smoking crack in the house. You're enabling her, you sick fucks. Oh, they all enable her. Jimmy, yeah. let's talk about this for a second. Because uh, where's where? Wh at what point do you go, you know what? Go do what you're going to do. I don't know. I mean, as a recovering hard. addict, like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm like that immediately. Like, I, I try to help people, but I never try to. I'm not Christ. I don't rescue people. <laughs> not? No, I mean, I, 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 I have to say that because but, I, of my reputation. You're Christ-like. Of having but, holes in my hands. <laughs> but what? how far would you go if someone you knew close to you uh, had a major problem? It's hard to say because I don't live with anybody. So for me, it's easier to tolerate because you're just a crazy friend. Right. All of my friends are fucked up. They're all addicts. All of them. But I wouldn't let someone in my house if I knew they were going to steal from me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't let That's some... That's just it. Yeah. I wouldn't allow somebody... 
to, but I don't have children. It's easy for me to say because I don't have kids. When you have kids, it's harder. <laughs> when you're married, it's harder. Sure. <laughs> but I understand that those are things I can't comprehend. So mm. I, it's easy to pontificate, but I have no kids and no spouse. Right. I would my, probably tolerate a lot more from them than I mm. would from fucking I guess you have to, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I know my friends are all, you know how embarrassing it is to talk to your friends and they're drunks? And they're just loud. Even that I don't put up with. Oh, Jimmy. I actually wasn't. I really wasn't <laughs> yeah, thinking. Awkward. Of, I really wasn't just thinking. Got awkward. In Anthony's here. never embarrassing. Cause always at Anthony's I'm house. Not very loud. Yeah. No, I get loud. You, you are loud, and you repeat yourself. But it's always. I, you know, yeah, I, I don't mind that. I want what's coming to me. It's like just, <laughs> it's like Billy Bats. <laughs> I'm like Billy Bats. <laughs> and that's not my party. His jacuzzi has a balloon tied to it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know, uh, I mean, at the bar and the club and shit, people just start getting loud. Yeah. Like, Ugh, shut up! <laughs> I, I just don't have a high tolerance just because what I've been through. Yeah, growing it's up, good. You shouldn't. You know, lunar ticks. I don't know if that's good or bad, though. You know, it's great. You think? Yes, absolutely. I would certainly reach out and try to help someone if they were having a problem. I would probably sit down for an intervention, <laughs> but as soon as they like are running toward the window, I'd, I would have to just go. Ugh. Go ahead. I, go. I, I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> when I and, talk to people who won't go, who won't do anything for themselves, they won't go to fucking like a detox or something. Them, I have very little tolerance for it because it's like you know what the problem is and you are yeah. choosing. So, what do you want to tell you? Yeah, I want to follow you around and beg you to get better. Don't. Mm. And you got some of these assholes in your life that like you try to do the right thing and help them out, and then they turn on you. Yeah, really? that happens. Really, so. really. Yeah. Anyway, let's break. Oh. Are you done with hoarders, Ant? Because uh, yeah, that, that was, was a good uh, roll. That was that was a good one. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> yeah, if you, what happened with the dead person? They arrest the guy or anything? Uh, no, because she. You got have a dead person in your fucking house? He didn't know. He called the ambulance when he thought she was sick, right. but she was dead. How long did and, they uh, estimate? Uh, a couple of days. Wow. And and uh, they they did get him on having too much shit in his house, you know. So he had to clean up, or else he was going to be thrown out. And uh, just the cleanup process, watching them just toil. Over the smallest little nothing and sacrificing their family and everything else because they want this control is what it is. How can they go into your house and make you clean up? It is an odd thing. And I, I've watched enough of these shows where I'm on kind of I'm on the fence on this one. I mean, it is your house. Uh, but when you're a neighbor and and it stinks of oh, cat okay. shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and your property value is going down then it's not just your own okay, yeah, yeah. If you want to live in a log cabin in the middle of nowhere and live in your own shit I, feel free i don't yeah. think it's about the property value going down i think they they go with the health issue yeah there's a health issue there right things like that they don't give uh, a fuck if the neighbors being affected uh, property value wise yeah yeah i think the local government or whatever gets involved with uh, the health and issue and they do now. get pissed off they're like oh who's who's telling me how i should live Live my life and my house, and it's like you're just a fucking mess. My family is the most important thing to me. Is it the family that left hasn't been to your house in ten years because you won't fucking throw away a salsa lid, you hmm. dummy? You should be able to do whatever you want in your own house as long as it doesn't affect others. That's, yeah, that's a famous thing that you've heard a million times in your life. Uh, but I guess in this case, it becomes a health issue if God. you know if this is spilling out into your yard and <laughs> yeah. neighborhood. Well, you know, if you want to see that episode and some commentary, just to put live from the compound in uh, iTunes. 